So Jossie Kleinherd with a 17 points and 18 points over the last two games drives down his first bucket of the afternoon. John Chaney, 11 straight trips to the NCAAs. Five-time A-10 coach of the year. Crispin, open look. Yes, Joe Crispin. I tell you, he defies a lot of the rules of basketball. It's He's out with a shoulder sprain. And Temple leads in the game 21-18. Another turnover. Titus Ivory, a one-on-two, takes it the distance. Ball goes down, they're going to count it. Well, you see some strength that time on the part of Titus Ivory. 6.15 to go in the first 20 minutes of play. It's a fast-moving first 20 minutes. Crispin. Yes, Joe Crispin. Line, the big guy, missed five. Rebound, here comes Crispin with his running shoes. A little one-on-three, so he wisely pulls up from behind the arc. Oh, tickles the twine. His first bucket, he's got three. Downtown. Rebound, Crispin. Seven seconds to work with. His triple team, Tate. Nice feed, Kleiner gets the shot off. Got it, got it. There's the buzzer. Great pass by the freshman Tate in transition that time. Mike didn't panic with how much time was left. Got it down low. That's a great point because most freshmen would have fired it from three-point territory. Let's take another look at it. Most freshmen with a clock winding down. This one would have been going up, baby. And he dumped it inside. Half, he has six. He's had a couple of big baskets for Temple. Well, that's going to help. Tyler Smith opened up. He's been doing a good job of coming up and getting in his face. Westby. Count it. That's a three for Alex Westby. His that's 19 threes for Westby on the year. John Crispin. Yes, that's a three for John Crispin. A nice defensive play by Hawkins. Rejected by Kleinhardt. No whistle. Great defensive play and no objection by John Shaney over on the Temple bench. Kleinhardt way above the rim to block that one. Yeah, we had a couple of great defensive plays. Watch this flurry. Here's the play by Titus Ivory. The miss, the ball was tipped, as you mentioned. Lyde came up with it. And Ivory with the steal. Hawkins been a nice strip on the other end. Now watch this uh, recovery by Kleinherd. Excellent block. Scramble for the loose ball. And a Crispin steps to the launching pad. Misfires. Offensive rebound. Smith. Here comes Crispin. Little double pump. Tyler Smith rolls it in. Gets the hometown roll. Tyler Smith now with time. That's what Miami of Ohio did so successfully in their victory over the Owls. Greer down to nine seconds. Dips inside. It's rejected. It lies there. He's rejected. And here comes Titus Ivory. So two blocks on that possession for Penn State. Lyde couldn't go up for the shot with any strength. Tyler Smith now in double figures with 11. Tyler Smith can beat opposing post people down the floor and trans. That last possession for Temple. Lyde couldn't go up strong with the ball, Mike, because Kevin Greer was on the floor below him. He didn't want to jump on him and hurt his teammate. Lyde well, forcing the issue, but oh, it falls. That's a tough shot. He was. Crispin finding the open look. Miss Myers again. Joe Crispin keeps it alive. Ivory carry it. It's a three. And it's a huge three. 16 now for Titus. Well, you talk about an athletic play. Ivory that time just high in the air with a jump and the catch and immediately springing back up with the jumper that time. It's Another big defensive play on the perimeter by the youngster Hawkins. Great hands by Hawkins out of the D.C. area. Crispin picks a pocket, takes it the distance, puts it in. John Crispin, first bucket in a while. He has 58-55 now, 4.06 to go. Make him take this face-up jumper. Titus Ivory, ring it up for Titus Ivory. Line up the board with three more, 60 to 58. Penn State in the driver's seat again. Mike Wide's a little tired, and Penn State's working that right side of the floor where he is defensively and forcing him to come out on the shooters. He's a little slow and getting six to go. Greer and his owls trailing by two. Westby outside, in and out, no good. Another rebound, Jossie Kleinhardt. Deep. Titus Ivory, four on the shot clock. Smith. Big shot by Tyler Smith. Well, he has hit that little jumper today, that 8 to 11 foot jumper, time after time. Temple has not been able to match up with him out around the free throw line. He's got 13 points. Second straight game with 13. He had 13 and 8 boards against uh, Pittsburgh in that victory. 62 58 now. 
Penn State picking it up a notch defensively. Hawkins dips inside, nowhere to go. Double team, walk with the basketball. A fine herd that time, did a nice job stepping into the lane. Played very big, kept his ground, didn't go for the head fake. Hawkins had no place to go. Temple's got to come up with something now defensively. And the shot clock. Klein hurt out to Crispin. Five, four. Crispin with the runner and he hits it. John Crispin puts it in double figures. Gives the Lions a 64-58 lead. Like their last three possessions, they've gotten big baskets from three different people. Ivory, Smith, and now John Crispin. That's how you know your team is becoming a team. Hawkins goes up and hits the two. Hawkins with 14, 64-60. They didn't get the timeout. Crispin lays it up and over. John Crispin, that could be the icing on the cake. Temple wanted a timeout, didn't get the timeout they wanted, and didn't get back defensively. Last shot by Greer. And Lynn Greer goes scoreless in the second half. And the winning streak in non-conference games goes to 52 here in State College, PA. 66-60, Penn State over Temple. contributed to this win today for the Nittany Lions. Titus Ivory there being hugged by Jerry Dern. John, certainly one of them. As this uh, Nittany Lions team really closed it out well, they were down 58-53 with about five minutes to play and went on the 11-0 run to ice this game. 52 home non-conference games, 31 straight here. They have yet to lose a non-conference game here in the Bryce Jordan Center. And that's over two different buildings. You're right, Rec Hall and this building. I think what Jerry Dunn has to be happy with the thing that he is saying is his players are getting better. Players other than his marquee players. He's getting contributions from guys like Marcus Banta, uh, B.J. Bosco, Sharif Shambliss, uh, Tate coming off the bench. Uh, so he's getting a real well-balanced team right now. Four double figures, 21 for Titus Ivory, 52 straight non-conference victories for the Nittany Lions of Penn State. For Frank Gardini, I'm Mike Gleason saying so long from State College, Pennsylvania. Our final score once again, the Nittany Lions are five and one after beating the Temple Owls 66 to 60. So long everybody from State College, PA.